Hey everyone, um, this is Jared Burt, Cutting Edge Fitness. So if you've, if you've been liking my videos or you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, like it, share it, all that good stuff. Um, anyways, today I want to talk about the immune system. I want to talk about the immune system in general on a normal basis, but it's been on my mind with everything that's been going on, obviously. Um, I would like to touch base on ways to kind of build it and to not kill your immune system because... There are ways to do that. You know, first off, I'm gonna start with the whole glove and mask thing. If you're wearing one, great, or wearing them, great, it's your choice. You know, I don't really care, I don't judge. I just, I hope everyone's kind of listening to that advice out there with the whole glove thing. I mean, I think nine out of 10 people probably are gonna forget they're wearing gloves and they touch something, then they end up touching their clothes, their phone, their keys, you know, whatever it is, and it's gonna spread. Or they forget to take them off when they get in the car or they forget to take them off when they get in the house or or whatever so um the glove thing i don't know i think it's a sense of security that they're not touching things with their bare hands same with the mask i think when you're wearing a mask it's a sense well if you're wearing a mask that's fully tight and it's the one that's supposed to be um i feel like obviously that's probably going to work i mean that's all the health professionals say but it's the masks that are like really loose on your face they're cloth but they're like really loose and they have holes here and they have holes here and they have holes here. they have gaps i don't know i guess i feel like the virus can make it in there not a professional on it but that's just my guess i you know maybe it's just a sense of security again or something but i feel like that mask would have to be pretty sealed up in order for that to work being a cloth mask so anyways um you know i guess that's my opinion on that and be cautious of that if you're doing that stuff. So, but I, um, the thing I wanted to talk about was the immune system part of it as well is the abundance of sanitizer and Lysol that's being used. Um, I see people using Lysol. I mean, I see people like spraying themselves with Lysol and I kind of said something because I don't know, I think we all know you can almost get cancer for any from anything nowadays. I mean, you can get cancer from the sun. And and uh, I was like, man, you wait like five years from now, we're gonna have like a spike in cancer or something from all this use, you know? And, and it's actually like a legit concern of mine because cancer sucks, man, and it's, it's everywhere. So I don't know, I think be careful with that. And then the overuse of sanitizer and things like that, that in general, I mean, even on a normal basis can, can hurt your immune system more than it's benefiting you. I think you need to use sanitizer in moderation. Like, you know, obviously now we have to make sure everything's wiped down, sanitized, taken care of. You know, if you directly touch somebody, sanitize your hands just because of the virus thing and, and things like that. But sanitizing your hands every five minutes or spraying yourself down with every five minutes is going to kill your immune system. So if you, not even just the virus, but you get anything, you're gonna get so sick because your immune system's not building. It's like the muscles, like the body. If you sit around, you do nothing. Your muscles get weak, your joints get stiff, your body just kind of, you know, doesn't work as well. And it's like your immune system. It's like when you're a kid, you know, if, if you're never allowed to be in contact with germs, it's like getting the chicken pox, you know, why do, the, why do they want, you're, why do people want their kids to go play around with other kids that have the chicken pox? So they get the chicken pox, they're immune to it, right? So you're building that immunity to the chicken pox. Um, and if you don't allow your kid to go out and get dirty, I always joke around like, man, I used to eat dirt back in the day, or I still eat dirt. That's why I don't get sick. Um, or if I do get sick, it's only for a couple days. And um, because I'm allowing myself to be in contact with germs and, and, and um, build my immune system. Now, general washing of the hands and general sanitization and, and wiping things down, obviously that's just a normal daily thing. But the overabundance use of it, it it's gonna kill your immune system. You're not gonna be able to fight anything off. If you're somebody that gets sick all the time, you know, and the, and the normal person, stock up on the fruits, stock up on the vegetables, get your vitamin D, get your vitamin C, get your vitamin A, E, B, all the vitamins, you know, vitamins, minerals, I have it pulled up on my computer and maybe I'll put the, you know, a picture of the description um, right here, but I don't know if a lot of people know this or not, but peanuts actually will build your immune system. And the exact description is peanuts are also rich in heart healthy vitamins, which we know that like magnesium and vitamin E, also a strong immune system to ward off this year's case of the sniffles by spreading your morning toast with peanut butter. Anyways, it's high levels of zinc 
and vitamin B6 to support your body's immune system. So if you didn't know that and you like peanuts, eat peanuts. Um, they do build your immune system. I've known that forever. I can't remember where I heard it or read it, but I've always had that in my head. I actually told my grandpa, he was sick earlier this year. I said, man, stock up on the vegetables, the fruit, and the peanuts. So get your... Uh, Get things like that. So that will help your build. So do other things to build your immune system. Don't just rely on the sanitizer and Lysol because that can actually have a negative effect if you're using too much of it. I know right now with everything that's going on, we have to be worried about it. But do other things to build your immune system up. It's just like training your body. If you're working out, that's going to build your immune system as well. But feed your body what it needs and don't rely on just the sanitizer, Lysol, things like that. Because that's actually going to have a negative effect. So anyways, I don't want to ramble on too much about that. I hope this all makes sense. If you have questions, you know, get a hold of me, things like that. Um, you know, I want to give advice. But, um, you know, this will help ward off, you know, the, the general cold and things like that. If you're somebody that gets sick easily. And obviously, we need to be concerned about that. So anyways, stay healthy. Stay active. Keep fighting the good fight with this, uh, with what's going on and, and try to stay positive um, and all that stuff. Sometimes it can be hard, but anyways, thanks for watching. Once again, subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff. Help the channel grow. More giveaways, um, more other awesome things in the future. All right, bye.